when you're about to start a business, what machine tool do you buy? Well, we're here at Kelvin Precision to find out how and why the partnership with Herco has been a complete success. Before we get into what machines you've got, how did you start? Where did it all begin? Um, so we started the business, there were two of us back in 2012. Um, we started with a, uh, the original Herco VM10, the white one, and a, um, and a manual lathe. And we actually advertised our engineering services online. Um, and it grew from there really. So we um, got a lot of local clients and um, things got a bit busier. Um, a year later, we got our second Herco VM10U, so the new grey ones they, they started doing. Um, and then a year after that, we got our first sliding head lathe. Um, and then we took our introduction into 5-axis in 2015. Um, and that was with a Herco VM10UI. Um, and then after that, we got another 5-axis because things seemed to be going that way. Parts were getting more complex as the years go by and um, we needed that, um, that uh, five-sided machining capability. Um, and then we wanted to, to fit more parts on a machine, so we then invested in a VM20. Um, so we had, uh, we had a meter-long bed by 500, we could put more vices on it, we could do sheet work, um, clamp parts for a bed, um, and we could get lots of small parts off of one bed. Um, and then, a couple of years ago, we then bought our third 5-axis machine, another VM10UI. Um, and then just last year, we then bought a fourth VM10UI with a, with a Proco bot. So, at the start, why did you take the decision to, to go with Herco? Because obviously, there's many machine brands out there. Yeah, um, so we went with Herco primarily for their control, the WinMax control. It's very easy to use. The, um, the training course, it was only, I think it was three days training, but that's all you needed. Um, you can do all sorts of imports, DXF imports, solid model import. Um, they're very reliable, reasonably priced, and also the fact that they're local to us, just over in High Wycombe, uh, that was a big plus as well. So that's why we decided to go with Herco. And uh, they had a stand over at Southern Manufacturing as well in that year. So got to know them and um, I like the look of their machines so it went from there really. So what type of work are you running through these machines? Um, we do um, industries like uh, medical, um, scientific, filtration, um, those are our three main sectors that we do. Um, we also do a little bit of um, subcontract work for, for other machining shops and fabrication shops. Um, but those are our three main sectors and the, um, the tolerances are held uh, well within what we need for those, uh, for those sectors. So for that type of sector, what materials are you using? Um, we mainly do uh, aluminium and plastics, so uh, acetal, PVC, peak, a um, little bit of um, uh, toughnel. Um, so yeah, those, those are our main machining. We, we, also do, um, we also do a bit of stainless but not too often. Now, obviously you started with just the three axis mill. What was that jump like into five axis? Um, it, it was easy actually. So um, Andy came and did on-site training for the five axis. And um, you can do it all on the control. Um, you just have to remember to, I mean, you use your hands a lot to, to, to learn which way the table goes round, because uh, it's a little bit different to cam. But um, yeah, it was covered within the on-site training and it, it was very good. So we actually programmed up, I think, three or four parts uh, whilst he was here for five axis work on the control. Now obviously you've just bought your fourth VM10 UI. Yeah. Where do you go from here? What's the next step? We've, um, the machine shop is full now. So we can't actually physically fit in any more machines. Um, we could probably fit a little VM5 in somewhere, but it, it would be a squeeze. I mean, the next step, if things were to get busier, would hopefully be to expand into a, an adjacent unit um, and possibly go into the, uh, the, Herco, um, the Herco lathe route of the, the new twin spindle machines that they've released. 